Hey girls and boys, I'm so happy to see you. Ah, can you believe it? Today is December 7th. Feels sometimes like Christmas can't arrive fast enough, but when you look at our tree, you see that it's coming. More and more decorations are on there. Hey, I brought my buddy Rupert along. He's gonna help us sing our Advent wreath song. You can see behind me, got two candles lit, hope and peace. Rupert will sing those verses. And then we'll take a look at our calendar, see what kind of decoration we get out of there today. Ready? As always, Rupert likes to take the screen all by himself, so I'm going to slide to the side and let Rupert take over. Well, hello, boys and girls. Remember how the song goes? Let's sing. Light one candle for hope, one bright candle for hope. He brings hope to every heart. He comes, he comes. Light one candle for peace, one bright candle for peace. He brings peace to every heart. He comes, he comes. Hey, Pastor Roland, is it okay if I do the review of the ornaments on the tree? Yeah, no problem. I'd be happy to have you do that. Great. All right, boys and girls. If you take a look at the tree back there, you can see the first ornament we got out was a little duck. That duck reminded us that God created all things. On the second day, we got out a red, delicious-looking apple. That reminded us of when Adam and Eve made a bad, bad choice, and death entered life. But God is so good, so loving, that he promised a rescue plan. That's the little dove. And then the Bible reminds us of how many times God repeated that promise. Then, the last couple days, we added ornaments, Mary and Joseph. Jesus' parents. What an important, important role they had. Okay, Pastor Roland, your turn to take over for today. All right, hey, Rupert did a nice job reviewing, didn't he? Ah, man, smart, smart dog, that Rupert. So, he walked through everything. Now let's find out what we've got inside the little pocket for today. As always, I'm going to read the little sheet, then we'll find out what the ornament is. It says, several months later, Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem to be counted for tax purposes because they were descendants of David. So they weren't from Bethlehem. They traveled to Bethlehem because that's where they had to go to be counted for the census. I wonder what our ornament is. Oh, cool. Can you see that? says census on it not sure if it's you can see that but it looks like an old looks like an old piece of parchment with writing on it we had a census in our country this year too kind of interesting yeah they had to travel all the way to bethlehem to be counted mary's pregnant with jesus joseph and mary make the journey you and i know what's going to happen next all right i'm gonna put my census right up here on the tree I don't know. When I look at that tree, I'm thinking, Christmas is coming soon. Can't wait. Hey, do me a favor. Bow your head, close your eyes, fold your hands, and repeat after me. Dear Lord, thank you for your promises to rescue me. Thank you for Jesus, our rescuer. Help me be ready to welcome him. Amen. See you next time.